Good Is morning, good morning. morning. Please have a seat. How are you? Are you? <laughs> it's too early for a singer. <laughs> oh, it is. I just, uh, I just look, when I heard you sing, you still got the, you still got the voice. Thank you. Yeah. How come you don't have the the open shirt anymore? We, because why, why the turtleneck? Because it's not, it's not 1975 anymore. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Did you get tired of being the sex symbol? I never, never, never really thought about it much. You know, I just. Uh, People took pictures, and they, in those days, you know, the, the record companies took pretty much control of, of, of image or anything like that. But did you get tired of being controlled? And yeah. I, compared uh, yeah, to what I you did, can do today? Uh, yeah, I, I did, I did uh, get tired of that kind of stuff, but um, it quickly ended by, by late 70s, early, early 80s. I, I was pretty much, you know, controlling my own destiny at that point. Will you tell us a little bit about your new record? From what I understand, you're really satisfied with this one. I do, I do like it. Um, I, I moved to Holland for a little while and um, just kind of bummed around and, and watched musicians and attended concerts and clubs and whatnot and um, found a bunch of people who wanted to record with. And I also spent a lot of time there, so I, I wrote a lot of poetry. So it's the first published poetry that I, that I have. Um, You know, ever published. Mm -hmm. uh, Gino Manuel berättar om just looken som man hade på den tiden när regibloggen kontrollerade allt man gjorde som gick över sen och att det känns bättre när man kanske kontrollerar allting själv. Flyttat till Holland nu, bodde delvis och uh, spelat in, uh, träffade musiker, uh, hittade tid för att spela in och har dessutom spelat in då dikterna. Mm -hmm. why, why the poems poems on, on the record also? Well, I've always you know, written lyrics to songs and, mm -hmm. and um, And I've always written poetry too, and never really had a chance to publish it. And um, it's it's kind of a scary thing to publish poetry because it's your it's kind of like your innermost dark secrets, and um, people could peer into it. <laughs> so I think I was ready to let people peer into my dark secrets. Yeah. Uh, in what way do you think your your music has changed during the years? Well, you know, technology has has helped change music some. You know, the way we record. The amount of time we spend in the studios, um, you know, it, working with uh, old-fashioned tape machines in the old days would take a long time, you know. But but a lot of the preparation was done before recording in the old days, and now, the, you know, a lot of people don't prepare that. You actually rehearse in the studio and you you take takes until you know it's satisfactory to you. But I don't think it's any easier. Uh, making any, ma making records right now. with all this technology available at, at our fingertips, I think it takes up longer and, and there's more thought that goes into it. Mm -hmm. Is it actually for you as a singer and a writer, is it more interesting to do the tour where, where authentic and real and not you know processed like in a, in a studio? Uh, no, but see, to you maybe it's processed, but to, to producer it's not processed. It's art. It's it's like uh, telling a painter, well, you're using colors. It's processed. Yeah, but I mean, uh, compared to other, you, I mean, you can sing and you can play. Yeah. Some some. I mean, some artists today to are, you know. Well, what you're referring to is a lot of singers mm -hmm. use things called auto tune mm -hmm. and, and a lot of uh, gimmicks to to make them sound a little bit better. That that's available, but you know, everybody's got those gimmicks, so it um, you know, that's a pr sort of a prerequisite now. You never hear vocals out of tune anymore on records, you know, because people have the machinery to make it sound right. But but it's it record sales are not as high as they used to be, so obviously it didn't help. <laughs> no. uh, you're gonna hear you one, once more this morning? Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. yeah. Right now? No. No okay no. Not right now. <laughs> Good. You, you like to have a cup of coffee and meet <laughs> you, meet your fans and uh, Good. And, uh <laughs> Vi vill get back to you. Ja. Vi ska ta en kort paus, men det blir mer av Gino Vanelli om en liten stund.